Beach Awesome Artist. Today I'm going to read to you Aaron's Hair by Robert Munch. Illustrated by Alan and Leah Daniel. <clears throat> Robert Munch is a very funny writer. Almost all of his books are extremely silly. Um, they kind of start out with realistic things. Things that really happen to us in real life and then they go completely off the rails to what could happen if. Um, <clears throat> So let's read. Aaron wanted to be just like his daddy, so he let his hair get long. Only then he started to have problems. If he combed his hair up, it flipped down. If he kept his hair down, it flipped up. If he combed his hair over, it flipped under. If he combed his hair under, it flipped over. One day, while Aaron was combing his hair, he got so mad that he yelled, Hair, I hate you! That hurt the hair's feelings and it jumped off Aaron's head and ran out of the bedroom. When Aaron came downstairs, his mother said, Aaron, you're bald. What happened to your hair? My hair ran away, said Aaron. I got mad at it and it ran away. That is terrible, said his mother. So you must go and get it. So Aaron ran out the door and his mother went to pick up the baby and she noticed that the baby had a lot of hair. Aaron, she called, I found your hair. But when Aaron went back inside, the hair jumped off the baby's head and ran out the door and down the street. So Aaron chased it down the street, and after a while, he came to a lady who was yelling and screaming. Help, 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 help. What's the matter, asked Aaron. Look at my tummy, said the lady. This hair came running down the street, and now it is growing on my tummy. It does look a little strange, said Aaron. Get it off. Make it go away, said the lady. Just tell it to get off, said Aaron. Tell it you don't like it. So the hair, the lady yelled, Hair, I hate you. And the hair jumped off the lady and ran down the street, and Aaron ran after it. Now, X. Aaron next came to a man who was running around in circles, yelling, help, 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 help. What's the matter, said Aaron. Look at me, said the man. This hair came running down the street, and now it is growing on my behind. It does look sort of strange, said Aaron. Make it get off, said the man. Make it go away. Well, just tell it to get off, said Aaron. Tell it you don't like it. So the man yelled, hair, I hate you. And the hair jumped off the man and ran down the street and Aaron ran after it. Aaron chased it all the way to the middle of downtown where there was an enormous traffic jam and a police officer was screaming, help, 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 help. Aaron went to the police officer and said, that's my hair. Your hair, said the police officer. This hair came running down the stairs, ran up my back and started growing on my face. I can't see a thing. I'm supposed to be directing the traffic and everything is all jammed up. Right, said Aaron. 
What a mess. 10 cars, nine motorcycles, eight trucks, seven buses, six baby carriages, five skateboards, four bicycles, three ambulances, two fire trucks, and one train. Well, it's, do you see the train? It's right there. And my face, said the police officer. This hair is growing on my face. It does look a little strange, said Aaron. Make it go away, said the officer. Just tell it to get off, said Aaron. Tell it you don't like it. So the police officer yelled, Hair, I hate you. And the hair jumped off the police officer's face and ran into the pile of cars. Oh no, said Aaron. Now I'll never find it. Just then, the police chief came up. What is going on? Everything is all jammed up. And who put the hair on the statue? Statue, said Aaron. The statue by the fountain, said the police chief. The one you kids are always messing around with. Get the hair off the statue. So... Aaron climbed up on the statue, and he almost caught the hare. But just as he almost caught it, it ran away, and Aaron chased it all the way home. But then, he couldn't find it at all. Do you see the hare? At dinner, Aaron said, I miss my hair. I'm going to be bald forever. I like my hair. I wish it would come back. And the hair jumped off the father's head onto the table, ran over the mashed potatoes and the peas and the chicken and climbed back onto Aaron's head. Fantastic, said Aaron. Now, if I can just grow a beard, I'll look like daddy. No problem, said the hare. So when I was a little girl, we didn't have a whole lot of toys where I lived. Um, I grew up in Kenya and we each had a few toys, but there were not really toy stores where we could just go and <clears throat> There was no um, easy access to that kind of thing. So we, my sisters and I, used to make our own paper dolls. And we would use catalogs. We would cut out families and people. We would make our own families out of the people in the catalogs. And I thought that would be a kind of a fun thing to do. So I cut out some pictures. I used some pictures, uh, I used photographs from my computer. So I took a picture of myself and a picture of my dog and I printed them out on my computer and on my printer and um, cut them out. Now, I took the same picture and using the photo edit tool, I flipped it horizontally. This way I can have pictures of myself facing each way so that in my stories and in my play, my person doesn't always have to be looking at the same place because that gets all confusing if everybody's looking in a different direction. So I cut out these two pictures of Chong. That's my dog. So that he looks like one way he can be looking at me this way or he can be looking the other way from me. Flipping it horizontally just gives me extra options. Okay. I also um, use some catalogs and some newspaper advertisements so that I can like populate my whole house. I can give it furniture. Here is a bed, a fancy kitchen. Um, 
in my story, this is Uncle uh, Joe, and Uncle Joe is the one who does the cleaning of the floors in the house. He's very helpful that way. Um, using just the advertising from this weekend in the newspaper, I got some kids playing, and I was like, this is a big space here between the girl who's running in the back and the ones in the front. So I'm going to put this kid. He's like, where are you guys going? You're going the wrong way. Okay. Um, some buildings for the background. Now, one of the problems is that catalogs are great because they often show people full body from their head to their toes. In advertisements, a lot of times they cut the people off part way. So what you can do then, what I like to do, is I cut out other things and I put them in front of them. So like Aunt Sue here is just leaning up on the chair or she is presenting to us at the picnic this beautiful salad. Mmm. And here is um, David and David is kind of leaning at an angle. I might put him up against a wall so that he looks like he's doing that. But you know, or he can be lying down on the bed. He does have a sort of an arched back for lying down on the bed, but you know, I'll put a blanket over him and he'll be good. Um, so other things that you can use are um, to get furniture and washers and dryers and things for your kitchen and your house. Clothes, food. Yeah, I populated my whole kitchen with all kinds of delicious groceries from my advertising circulars. <clears throat> and when I was little, oh, and we got a, a chocolate catalog. So I, I put out some bunnies and I have this whole story now about the bunnies that I can tell and um, change it up. Because just because I cut them out for one story, they're versatile. I can put them into other stories all along. Um, when I was little, we used to not want our paper dolls to get wrinkled, so we would store them in, beside, in between the pages of books. And of course, my dad had all the biggest books. So we would put them in there and um, save them for other days. And then my dad would come and take his books back, and we would not know which book it was because they had all kinds of titles that we, weren't, we hadn't read. So we weren't sure which book, and we would have to be we're like, oh, we would get out our books, and we'd be like, oh, look, we found these ones from two years ago. And... Um, if you are worried about them, you want them to last better, you could glue them onto a piece of light cardboard, like a file folder, glue them on with glue stick or regular glue, let them dry, and then cut them out. Before you cut anything out of magazines or um, old picture books that are falling apart, make sure you ask your adult for permission. <coughs> Allergies. So... This I didn't do when I was younger because we didn't have them around in my house that were optional. Um, a big calendar page, calendar picture, makes a great backdrop for your, for your picture. Um, sometimes the perspective is off, like Chum, Chum is playing in the yard. He's a little bit big than he is in real life, but, um, and I'm a little bit big in real life, but... Oh, who could go in this picture? Soccer player? Yeah. If we put him up here in the front so he looks bigger. You can do that. You can use um, a felt board. So a little bit of felt or fabric on the back of the picture will help it stay up better. Um, Anyway, that's a great way of doing it. Um, you can also print out photos that you have on your computer or phone and use those as backdrop for it or as um, pictures to tell the story. Like if you shrink your kid, using your printer to shrink or enlarge your pictures would allow you to put like a dog next to the flower or shrink the flower and put it on the dog. So have fun with this art idea and let me know if you have other ideas of places to get pictures or ways to use these paper dolls. See you next time.